Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto and hope you're all doing great. Hope you did not miss my XRP update yesterday um, because it uh, it was very, very bullish. The, the one day I don't upload it um, or the one day I, I don't analyze it, we get a lot of momentum that happened. A lot of bullish momentum right here for XRP. In this video, we'll, we'll talk about what, what went on or at least my thoughts on what went on. I mean, I, I must say that it, um, it seems manipulated, like it, it went up. Like most of this, most of this move actually happened in 15 minutes and probably even, probably even shorter, but that's 5% in about 15 minutes. That's uh, a bit of it. That's a little bit abnormal. You can see most of it actually happened in 10 minutes. So that's even less. Obviously there's some sort of reasoning you can, you can place behind that. We'll talk about that, but just um, in general, seems a bit manipulated, but we'll talk about it. Volume also extremely high. Uh, and a lot coming from Bika and Top Credit. So that's our confirmation. Usually if a lot of volume is, com is coming from those sources, it is manipulated, but um, that doesn't matter, all right? If it's manipulated, could still be bullish, could still be bearish. So we'll talk about that. We'll do a full analysis, talk about everything you need to know, hopefully. Uh, but before we do that, I do want to briefly remind you that I have my own premium trading group in which I share my own trades as signals, but you also gain access to a chat room full of traders and my trading guide. Very valuable, I would say, if you want to become a better trader. So if you're interested in that, consider joining via the links down in the description. But for now, let's dive into XRP. So like I said, it's probably a little manipulated right now, given the volume, but also given the price action. When taking a look at some other statistics, you'll also see that the volume went up heavily. It's already stalling a bit. It's also weekend, so volume will probably drop down. And the open interest is, is basically back to the same levels it was at at around uh, Thursday evening. So there was a, a quick spike and a quick dump. So it seems like most of the manipulators are out of the market already, even though that's always... Um, a dangerous assumption assumption to make so for now technically the situation is pretty neutral like of course we have of course we've seen quite a lot of bullish momentum right here um but we also like like there, there was no major bullish breakout it, it was just it was testing this level around 53 and 54 cents and by the way i must say that um, I was wrong because I did not expect it. I, I did not expect this. I thought it was more likely that XRP would fall down towards 49 and 48 and a half cents. So my last analysis were wrong. I'm, I'm not sure if you can blame me on that if it's manipulated, which I think I've offered enough proof for. Uh, but I do want to mention that. Um, so right now, what I expect is XRP broke above the 200 EMA for the first time in a long time for the first time at least, that it's a real bullish breakout. So now what will happen is that that will probably provide support. But the only way in which XRP could really rally, rally further from this manipulation or from this bullish momentum is if this support actually makes XRP break above 53 cents again. That's the main level. If it's able to break above this again, then we can actually rally up to 55 and 56 cents and, and continue the, the bullish momentum. Um, but if that's not... If XRP is not able to do that, which I do not expect in the next two days at least, all right, uh, because of the because it's the weekend, so I'm not sure that, that there's enough volume to get a breakout like that. I would say it's more likely that it will test that level and then slowly drop back down towards 50 cents and kind of consolidates on top of that, and then from there we'll see again. That looks like the most likely scenario. Um, I now remember that I did not talk about any of the key reasons behind this. Could be multiple things. Could be this that they can't cancel the plan to buy for Fortress Trust, which was is a little bit of a sick company, I would say, and sick in a bad way. Um, it's not doing that well. Was hacked as well, so them not buying it could be considered as good news. Could also be that at the, that the SEC will probably I don't know. There, there, there were some things about the about the SEC. Um, appealing uh, appealing ripple and and their their whole lawsuit and stuff could be behind it but um as you might hear i i d haven't researched that uh, enough because i actually thought this was behind it apart from the manipulation uh, but those are my thoughts purely uh, fundamentally but also technically on xrp if you do have any questions then let me know but for now thank you for watching take care and bye